Dear student friends, welcome to the problem solving session on sequence and series. In today's session, we are going to solve some problems on rabies test. At first, we started limit comparison test and then we solved some simple problems. Then we understand what are all the limitations of limit comparison test where we cannot apply limit comparison test. Then we go for the help of ratio test and we solve some more problems on ratio test. Those who don't watch those videos. Go to the playlist. First watch limit comparison test, then ratios test, then come to this session. In today's session, we are going to see some problems on rabies test. Just quick recap on ratio test. If you take a positive term series un, I am going to find the nth term un and n plus 1th term. When limit n tends to infinity, it should be a finite value L provided the L should not be equal to 1. If it is less than 1, then summation un converges. If it is greater than 1, summation un diverges. If it is equal to 1, ratio test fails. So, ratio test has a drawback. It fails when L equal to 1. If this is failing at the particular point, then there comes a new test which helps us to find the solution for that particular value 1. That is our rabies test. So, as usual, summation un is the positive term test. What rabies did? We have un plus 1 by un in ratio test. He just take the reciprocal of it, subtract with 1 and then multiply with n. Now, limit n tends to infinity. This will give a finite value. Since you see here, ratio test is un plus 1 by un. In rabies test, we are doing un by un plus 1. Now, if l less than 1, summation un diverges. Hope you guessed it. Then, if l greater than 1, summation un is converging. This is the procedure for rabies test. So, when we use rabies test, when ratio test is getting failed because when it get the value L equal to 1, then we can go for rabies test. So, don't apply rabies test directly. Let us go into a problem. Test the convergence of the series 1 by 2x, 1, 3, denominator 2, 4, x square, etc. So, now we are getting the term x, x square, etc. We don't know the value of it, but it is given as x greater than 0. So, whenever there comes x, or a variable, there is a chance that my ratio test fails at x equal to 1. So, just keep remember this. Let us go into the problem. As usual, let us assume summation un is equal to the given quotient. Now, we have to find the nth term. First, we have to confirm whether it is ratio test or not. You see in the first term, numerator and denominator has only one data. But when you go for the second term, numerator and denominator have two data. In the third term, we have numerator and denominator as three terms. That means the terms are increasing. So, we cannot apply limit comparison test. On the other side, we have x, x square, x cube, x power n. So, just recap, n factorial or x power n or a power n or n power n are increasing terms. We cannot apply LCT. So, we have only one option now. We have to apply ratio test. So, let us find the numerator and denominator nth term. So, now you see the numerator as 1, 3, 5, etc. It goes on. Now, Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d, where a equal to 1, d equal to 2. So, immediately we can find the nth term. Tn is going to be 1 plus n minus 1 into 2. So, it is going to be 2n minus 1. Here, 2n minus 1 is not the nth term because it has increasing terms. So, we have to write 1, 3, 5, dot, 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 up to 2n minus 1. This is my nth term. Next, we have to find the denominator. In the denominator, we have 2, 4, 6, etc. So, now again I apply arithmetic progression. a plus n minus 1 into d. Here, a is equal to 2, d is equal to 2. So, tn is equal to 2 plus n minus 1 into 2 will be getting 2n. Therefore, the nth term is going to be 2, 4, 6, etc. 2n. And regarding the x, we have x, x square, etc. nth term is obviously x power n plus 1. So, let 
let us write the nth term for the given question. It's going to be 1, 3, 5 into 2n minus 1 divided by 2, 4, 6, 2n x power n. Next, we are going to write n plus 1th term. So, as I said, when you write the n plus 1th term, just keep the n terms as usual. That is 1, 3, 5, etc. 2n minus 1. 2, 4, 6, etc. 2n. Now, the difference here is 2. The next term is 2n minus 1 plus 2. It's going to be 2n plus 1. In the denominator, also we see the difference is 2. So, the next term is 2n plus 2. And here, x power n plus 1. Now, we have to find un plus 1 by un. As I said, be smart. Just see this black term and this will get cancelled. Similarly, both denominators will cancel up to 2n. So, only remaining terms survives. So, 2n plus 1 by 2n plus 2. Here, x power n plus 1. When you divide, this will move to the denominator. Simplifying this, taking n outside, we will be getting 2 plus 1 by n divided by n into 2 plus 2 by n x power n into x divided by x power n. Now I can cancel this n x power n. We can see the typed version here. Now applying limit n tends to infinity on both sides we will be getting 2 plus 0 because this n n get cancelled. x power n x power n get cancelled. We will be getting 2 plus 0 into x. So 2 by 2 is 1. We will be getting simply x. In the question it is given very clear x is greater than 0. So now let us go into the d elements ratio test. Now we have the value x on the right hand side. So we can easily say if x less than 1 summation un convergent. If x greater than 1 summation un divergent. If x equal to 1 ratio test fails we cannot give any conclusion. So we have to write like this x value decision test. If x less than 1 summation un converges by ratio test. If x greater than 1, summation un diverges by ratio test. If x equal to 1, I cannot take any decision because ratio test fails. So, you don't want to write the table for your understanding. I am saying this. At the end of the problem, you write that table by which test you found summation un is converging or diverging. So, now at x equal to 1, my ratio test fails. Therefore, I have to go for the next option, Rabi's test. We can apply Rabi's test. So, do you remember the formula for Labby's test? Limit n tends to infinity n into un by un plus 1 minus 1. So, to achieve this, to achieve this, we have to take the content from the ratio test in our previous slide. So, we will do 1 by 1. Now, let us take un plus 1 by un is this. When I put x equal to 1 because at x equal to 1 only I have a problem. I don't have problem in general. When I put x equal to 1, 1 power n plus 1 or 1 power n or 1 power anything, it is going to be 1. So, we will be getting 2n plus 1 by 2n plus 2. Now, we have to take the reciprocal to apply Rabi's test. Next, we have to subtract un by un plus 1 by 1. When you subtract and taking LCM, we will be getting 2n plus 2 minus 2n minus 1 divided by 2n plus 1. Now, I can cancel this 2n, 2n. Now, still I can simplify this. Next, we have to multiply this with n. If I multiply with this n and now I can take this n in common out from the denominator, I will be getting like this. I can cancel both n and n. Finally, I will be getting 1 by 2 plus 1 by n. Now, applying infinity on both sides, we will be getting 1 by 2 plus 0. Very good. This is less than 1. Now, just we see the definition. Ratio and Rabi's test are just opposite. Here, L less than 1, summation un. And in Rabi's, if L less than 1, summation un diverges and vice versa. So, here our value is 1 by 2. 2, that is less than 1. So, we can say summation un is a divergent series at x equal to 1. We achieved our target. Therefore, summation un diverges at the point x equal to 1. Now, we have to write in the table. This table you have to write here. Finally, x less than 1, summation un converges by ratio test. x greater than 1, summation un diverges by ratio test. x equal to 1, summation un also diverges by Rabi's test. And we complete the problem here. Hope you understand. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. 
See you in the next video. Bye-bye.